Uh, hi, and uh, we are from OKPN Trainings, and uh, we actually concentrated more on, on uh, APN. So we just go try to go to the demo directly, and uh, let's see like what is APN and uh, what exact things we have it in APN. So let's uh, start uh, with the uh, demo. So yeah, so uh, first of all, might be you might heard someone. I mean, what is APN? So some might some people might from your agency well, might heard about this or might not. So actually, APN is actually a BPM tool. So, I mean, you might see in the market like, okay, so I mean, like BPM tool or some, you might heard something like, okay, it's a low code platform and easy to learn or something you might uh, hear from that. Just let's go to that particular part uh, later in this particular video. But yes, so APN is actually a BPM tool. So first of all, uh, what is meant by uh, BPM tool? I mean, so BPM in the sense, uh, we have the word is mentioned as business process management. So what is meant by uh, business process management and how exactly, I mean, we use in our uh, market, like how we use it in our clients. So what is the main use of this in the sense like, uh, so we can define this particular word BPM into the business process management into three three different words. So what is meant by business and what is meant by process and other what is meant by management. So business in the sense uh, like we have our different type of clients, right? So we have like insurance, we have uh, pharma, we have automobile, so we have uh, retail. So there are a lot of the clients. So for suppose like we say like, okay, uh, so you have a client like, okay, uh, like a banking system like let me say there is an x company which is uh provide you a loan okay so suppose like they provide a loan so after i mean like uh, last uh, 15 years back how exactly we apply for a loan so we used to go to the bank and we used to fill some forms and uh, we used to apply for the loan and later on again uh you might visit the bank and also we need to know like what is the process what is the status and uh, whether it is approved or whether it is rejected all we have to uh, continuously we need to the, go to the bank and we have to uh know the status but right now so i mean how it's got automated so right now we just go to the net banking or like like we have an app in our mobile so directly we just uh, log in and we just uh, uh, select whatever the amount we want and we just submit and automatically within a fraction of seconds your loan is approved and will be money will straight into your account so from last 15 years to right now what exactly things are getting changed so it's totally digitalizing right so the digitalizing and there will be a lot of improvements so in the business and also like you can see like how it's got automated so these are all things like digitalizing the things or improving the things or automating the business so this all will come under the part of the bpm so that is something called business process management how we are able to manage the particular business so that it will be helpful to the both the end user and also to the uh, the business persons okay so uh, right now i mean like uh, of course like uh, we have a lot of uh, lot of tools we have it in uh, in the market right okay, right now we have uh, i mean like we have pega we have apn we have ibm bpm so we have uh, mendix we have out system so there are a lot of tools we have it in uh, bpm so but uh, most of the leading tools, I mean, leading tools, I mean, like the last two years or two and a half years back. So we have Pega. We might heard so many people, we might heard about Pega. But right now, I mean, like uh, we are he hearing mostly on the APN. So APN actually right now is having a lot of uh, demand in the market. And there are a lot of clients, a lot of people actually are uh, moving into the APN. So I mean, why? Because I mean, that is the flexibility APN will provide you. Like that is a level of automation APN has been done in the recent last two years, like we can able to build the applications uh, very fast. So let's go like, I mean, let's see like, okay, what are the things we have it on Appian? So let's go to the next uh, slide. So you might uh, know like, okay, so it's actually Appian is a full stack development tool. So what is meant by full stack? Full stack development in the sense like we might have a front end and we might have a back end. So We'll be having the transactions and everything we'll be having from the front end to the back end. So we'll full stack development in sense where we'll be handling total uh, front end and the back end. So I mean like Java or Python. So there are some many so, so many languages we have which actually support the full stack development. So something like the APN is one of the part. So so in APN like we have uh, we have like. Uh, Two things we can able to install our APN in our uh, systems. One is on premise, another one is cloud. So, what is meant by on premise? So, on premise in the sense like, uh, so I mean, it's something like okay, the control and everything will be handled from our side. So, the servers like, okay, so mostly we will be installing on the servers. So, the particular servers control and everything will be handled from our side. 
so and if it is what is meant by cloud in the sense so appian there is a appian corporation team so there is something like so like we have the appian corporation so which are the uh, heads of the appian so which uh, they will be uh, providing the cloud uh, environment for us suppose like okay, you are a, working in some company and you are that particular company is looking for apn so you can directly contact apn corporation team and uh, so there will be some budget and everything xyz so you will be providing so you can choose either on premise or cloud so if it is in cloud so servers and everything will be handled by them and uh, they will provide you the different type of environments we can able to use so that side like uh, other technologies like we have uh, dev we have the test and we will be having the production where i mean of course totally depend upon the project like we have uh, might be dev one dev two dev three or test one test two test three like that so in the similar way for appian also like we can have a uh, dev test and uh, production uh, environments where we can able to deploy our uh, codes whatever we develop and we can able to uh, use it so the production is something which will be used for the end users so we'll go to the next so we have something called in apn we have something called uh, process models so what is meant by uh, process models so it's not only in apn like uh, if you go to uh, any of the uh, bpm projects like if you go to any of the bpm technologies like uh, ibm bpm or pega or if you go to any bpm we will be having something called process model so what is this particular process model in the sense like uh, it's actually define the requirement so whatever the requirement you having on that particular scenario the particular scenario requirement actually it will be can able to define with the help of the uh, process model it's actually define your business flow the logic business flow logic we can able to uh, define in the uh, process model so for suppose in the current example in your screen you can see like uh, suppose like we have a customer request so like we say like uh, you have some issue with your transaction in your bank and you just drop a mail to the customer care support at the rate of uh, xyz dot bank dot com something like it. you send a mail so once you send a mail so i mean you can see like okay uh, in the current request so it, uh, once you send a mail the particular mail will might receive to the uh, customer service and uh, in apn so we can use some external systems or something uh, we can use artificial intelligence we can use machine learning also something like that we can have a flexibility to provide okay whether it will scan the particular mail what to send and automatically we can able to define the flow so okay once i let me let me say i have issue with my uh, transaction so it will scan and it will know like okay whether this particular request need to the go to the sales team or should go to the support team so my request is related to the transaction so either some other person can check it or they can assign to the particular team or it can auto, it can be done with auto automatically also we can able to do it so then if you see the current example so it's something like the uh, sales request like uh, related to the credit card or let me say you want something like the some different type of loan or something you will go to the sales team it is something like request for the uh, some issue with your transaction you will go to the support team so like that so we can able to define the flow of your requirement so flow of the business we can able to define with the help of the uh, process models so apart from that i mean we have a lot of things like uh, in your process models we can able to have something like uh, you can able to handle uh, exceptions we can able to handle escalations so there are some different type of concepts especially for the uh, bpm sector we have something called escalations and we have something called exceptions so i mean if you are going deep into the things uh, into things and we can definitely uh, we can able to understand the what is the meaning of exception and escalations i'm not much uh, going into the depth this time this wanted to give a uh, overall what is a process model okay so another thing we have it in our apn is something called groups so the main thing like any application like it's not only in apn like if you go to any technology so we need to manage the security so security is something like uh, how exactly we can able to manage so for suppose uh, there is some external person who want to apply a loan so he, let me say there is one user he applied for a loan once he applied for a loan it should go for approval for one one step of approval and later on again it should go to the second step of approval so so first step of approval he can see some some of the things and the second step of approval he can see some other some other uh, things he can able to see it on his screen so so how exactly we can able to define the security so that things and everything we can able to handle in the groups so we have in apn like we have some objects 
So uh, totally APN is an object level. So we have a lot of objects. So what we have covered in the previous process model is one object. So we have something called groups in our APN that is actually, actually an object. So with the help of the particular groups, we can able to define the security like, okay, which particular task was assigned to, to which particular team we want to assign. So the particular teams and everything we can able to uh, define in the with the help of the groups. But the only thing we need to know in APN is if it is necessary, then only we have to create a group. If it's not necessary, then it's not required to create a group in APN. So I mean, like in APN, like we actually have something called uh, so new tab. So I mean, usually I mean, like we have something called a new tab. So what is the use of this particular uh, new tab in every applications in the sense? Uh, it's actually something like. Uh, something like we have it over Facebook or in we have a feed, right? So in the there we can see a lot of information. So like that, uh, here also we have something called a new tab. So we'll be having a lot of feeds. So, so what is the main use in the sense? Let me say I applied for a loan. Okay, so once I applied for a loan, so it will in the new tab, it will like we can able to post it. Okay, uh, some X person has been applied for a loan. In the next level, so once some other business users can see it and OK, so someone has applied for your loan. So I mean, let me look into that issue. I mean, let me look into that particular request or let me put some comments so that uh, as some other person we can able to assign. You can able to assign that request to some other person. Let me say X person, he, the request has been assigned. And if X approved it, then you can able to show that particular status as well. OK, X approved this particular loan. Again, it will go for some other person approval and he can also able to approve it. So like that, I mean, uh, details of the request or you wanted to put some comments, you wanted to congratulate some other person. So everything, so internally, so internally within the particular particular uh, project, so within the particular applications, you wanted to internal users, you want, they wanted to communicate. In that case, we can use the news. Okay, so I mean, mostly in the market, like, uh, around uh, i mean i can say it like around so 70 percent of the projects mostly will not use the news but yes there is an option appen will provide for this and we can definitely use it so i mean comparing with other technologies like we have we can also have in appen we have something called uh, reporting so what is mean by a uh, reporting so reporting is something like uh, it is something like a graphical representation of the client data Right. So I mean, whatever the data we have it. So if you wanted to represent in the part of the reports, we can able to do it with the different type of the reports which we have it on Appian. So I mean, like we have it in other technologies as well. So I mean, the similar way in Appian also will support a lot of charts. So we have like line chart, R chart. So we have uh, we have a lot of charts, pie charts. So, so apart from that, I mean, uh, actually Appian will support some external charts as well. So whatever different type like Google combo charts. So Google charts also we can able to add the particular plugins in Appian and we can able to uh, use it. So I mean, a lot of things we can able to do it in Appian. So so mind me, I mean, like the, what is exactly use we have? We create the uh, reports in the sense like uh, it actually uh, the business can able to understand, OK, where exactly my uh, my uh, particular business currently is. So let me say a current example, like uh, the business wanted to know, like, OK, in the last uh, one month, how many loan requests has been raised? So I mean, let me say we have something like house loan and car loan. So he wanted to know how many car loans we got and how many house loans we got. So we can raise, I mean, we can create a chart and we can able to uh, show it like okay so the in this okay this many in this particular month so we got around five and we can the house loans we got five and uh, we got something car loans we got around two something so he, then the business will know okay last month i got many and this particular month i got less so the business can able to understand what was the issue and based upon they can figure it out so like that so each and every report we can able to uh, show it to the clients based upon whatever the transactions data or uh, it might be any data we can able to show it and we can able to represent in the different type of the uh, charts. So in APN, like we have a flexibility like, OK, so the main uh, APN is actually uh, much used in outside market is it actually can able to connect it to any other external systems. It may be any other cloud system or it may be any other uh, on premise system. So APN actually can able to connect. So in APN, like we have uh, 
something like objects like uh, we have something called integration objects which we can able to connect to any other external systems uh, suppose like you are working in one company and uh, they are using the salesforce and you are working in apm so you want some particular data from the salesforce to pull into the apm yes that's possible with the help uh, we have the uh, integration objects where we can able to create and we can able to fetch the data from the salesforce so like that it's not only uh, i mean like salesforce like most of the clouds i mean a lot of the clouds so we can app actually default will provide so i mean it's not only about the clouds like if you have any other external databases so like app actually uh, have a flexibility to connect with lot of databases app and right now is actually providing the maria internal db but apart from that if you wanted to connect to any other sql server or oracle so lot of dbs actually app and actually can able to connect and we can able to use so, so it's totally depend upon the uh, business requirement so apart from that so actually uh, app and actually have a flexibility to send and receive the mails so we can able to send the messages mails from apm so like i mean let me say uh, you have uh, debited a money from your nearest atm so you will get a mail for uh, right your mailbox right so in the similar way like in app and also like we can be any transaction or anything happen or let me say for the uh, end user you wanted to uh, once he submit the form so you wanted to send a mail so we can able to send it with the help of the we have some uh, i mean like we have something smart services which we have it up apn so which we can able to use it and we can able to uh, send so that mean like we have that particular flexibility so in apn so i mean we have something uh, other option as something like uh, we have enterprise mobility so what is mean by uh, enterprise mobility in the sense uh, so if you go for other technologies like we say you are working in something like a java project so you are using a desktop version so it is a web 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 application you are using okay so right now uh, so the client is expecting something like he wanted to a mobile app so which you wanted to design the same application what you are using in the uh, web version the same application he wanted to have it on the is mobile so he wanted to you wanted to create a mobile app so in java in the sense i mean we use some other technologies like android and we can able to uh, so i mean whatever the uh, i mean whatever the ios that you are using so we will be have to uh, develop and de develop the uh, new things and we have to use it but it's not required for apn so apn actually have something called uh, apn mobile app so whatever the application you are building so we can able to use the same application uh, in the desktop or we can able to use it in the tab or we can able to use it in the mobile so the same application we can able to use it in any way so it's not a, uh, rebuilding the things so that is the main reason like okay so you can able to make the things very fast so that is the main reason like uh, uh, it's also uh, most of the clients are looking because uh, we can able to make the things very fast build the things very fast and it is more flexible so that is the main reason i mean so we can able to uh, do the we can complete, uh, complete our tasks or we can see the images voice we can capture the locations we can uh, uh, use the signatures we can take the photos videos everything is possible in apn so so that particular flexibility we have so that is the reason so right now you might see a uh, like lot of applications we got apps and we will be using right so so that like that of especially in the bpm sector so uh adding an application in the mobile it definitely is much required so so much suppose like you might have something called background verification when you're joining a company so once you upload all the forms it will go for a background verification where the agent will come to your address and you'll be verifying the things so this and all we can able to use the help of the mobile he wish to do so like this have things as well so we can able to possible to do it in appian so the flexibility we have uh, mostly uh, in appian so not rather than rebuilding the things yes so i mean uh, mostly i mean that's the some of the things i wanted to uh, explain you in the part of the appian so coming to i mean like our uh, particular things like coming to the oak so we actually i mean like we are in the market from last year around uh, one and a half year to two years and uh, we have given a lot of uh, corporate and also the retail sectors so we have given a lot of uh, trainings so usually i mean like we have uh, something like we have we define our curriculum in the standard way so let me show you our particular uh, uh, curriculum so so i mean we initially i mean like uh, start with uh, some different things like okay uh, what is community and uh, we have what is the apn community so what is the things we can able to do 
and how we can able to register the environment from the community so i mean we have something lot of things like the academy forum so what is the use of all these things so we actually explain the initial one or two days we explain all these things and uh, later on we go with all the objects so we have lot of objects as we said so we'll come with the real time project so what are the real time scenarios we have it on uh, project so we will be using the uh, real time project <coughs> Uh, sorry so uh, we'll be uh, going with the real time concepts and uh, real time use cases so we'll be uh, creating with the poc based so we'll be having one poc and uh, we will be building that particular poc with the real time concepts and all the concepts related to that particular poc and uh, with the help of the data we have it from the particular poc we build the end to end project so we will go i mean like we go with all the objects so, i mean like the groups interface I mean, what are the things we cover in the uh, curriculum, like grids, paging grids, edit, insert, update, functionalities, in editable grids, dynamic grids, validations. So I mean, lot. I mean, like test cases of the expression rules in the process models, all the document generations, or sending an email notes, or not export to Excel things. So mail, starting the different way of the process models. So one thing like I mean, all the concepts you to the records. We have a lot of records, we use a lot of report sites, so web APIs, so connected systems and integrations, so web services, how we can able to do, and the, whatever the things we can able to do it on the admin console. So a lot of all the things, so mostly uh, we cover all the most of the things, what exactly we have it in our pen, so that definitely will help you the uh, train it to understand, get some more confidence when they're going for the real time projects. Yes, yeah, so and also we support something like uh, mock interviews or interview questions or something resume level. So we actually uh, help the particular candidates. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I mean, mostly, I mean, we give uh, training around uh, 35 to uh, 40 hours, so it will be around 35 to 40. It's uh, depend upon the, uh, I mean, the how the training goes and it might be uh, it might be uh, prior, it might be delayed based upon the discussions and based upon the uh, trainer and training. And the video date will be a recorded section and the recorded section will be provided to the candidate with uh, so as I said, like the project real time use cases and everything will be uh, covered. And yes, so we have certification. So uh, we have some, uh, we will help them to I mean, like certification. So, what are the concept we have it in the certification? So, right now in APN we have associate developer and we have senior developer and we have something called lead developer. So, definitely, I mean, like particular training definitely will help to uh, clear the associate developer. But yes, so I mean, we provide that particular uh, level of the standards. And apart from that, so as I said, like support the mock interviews as well. And also we can look into our, our website. So we have our website and uh, we you can go through our website, like the things, what exactly you wanted to know. So with uh, some information in our website, like you can just Google uh, OKPN training and you can definitely get some website. You can able to, this is our website where you can get uh, some information related to our curriculum and you wanted to contact us. So everything is, uh, we can able to get it from the website as well. So yeah. So uh, thank you.